What's good? I'm Garrett, and I'm welcoming you to episode 22 of Attila's Trek. Attila's Trek is my devlog series for my next video game, which currently is a 2D adventure game about forgiveness. Some game development, singing, and more coming up in just a bit. Now, let's have some fun. On Monday, I upgraded my current text to Text Mesh Pro, which is apparently better and a lot uh, finer. I also added some response text to whenever inevitably, inevitably the player is going to uh, respond to the dialogue of the NPCs. Currently, it doesn't have any functionality, but I started working with the Uni UI event system, and I've never used it before, but it seems like it's gonna be really useful. On Tuesday, I refined the dialogue system a bit more. I also added the functionality for you to select what image the NPC has, or rather allow me to select what image the NPC has. I also added a forgiveness slider, which has no functionality at the moment, but that will be used to indicate your progress towards forgiveness. On Wednesday, I transformed the system I had for the NPC characteristics to scriptable objects. And scriptable objects is something I've only used a bit before, but after starting to use it now, I feel like it's going to be really helpful because it'll be a lot easier to customize NPCs. And especially if I want to switch around certain quests and certain dialogues, that's going to be a heck of a lot easier than manually putting it into each game object. On Thursday, I made a little sprite for the player. It's not great. I'm not great at pixel art, but it's better than a circle. I'll probably stick with the pixel art style and probably end up being similar to that in the final game, um, but it's just something that looks like a human right now. I also added a wall corner tile, although after the fact, I was kind of upset because I realized that it was off by one pixel and that was re really annoying to me at the time. <laughs> And on Friday, I added two objects, one of which was a plant and the other was broken glass. The plant would just serve as an example collidable object because there would be objects like couches and tables throughout the world that you would collide with that isn't just built into the tile map. I also added broken glass, which is the first piece of evidence, which whenever you go over it, it will trigger a dialogue event and will help contribute towards your total forgiveness. Uh, so I just implemented the basic system for that. I will refine that later. Thank you for the comments from Antique Gear Games, Michael K. Taylor, Ben Strosity, Benjamin Boswell, Hatkun Dev, Micho Dev Game Dev, Fried Candle, Indie Progress, Welton King, Light Studio, Zero Tris, Sam Hogan, and the Broman 90, and Island of Games, and Bears Can Code. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment and subscribe to see my videos every Sunday. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.